It's indeed. Two players inside of the site. Ben Tet already holding into the corner. Doesn't want to reveal himself too soon. Next Garrett, therefore, has to take away aggression. And they want to try and rotate in from heaven as well. No smoke up there that I saw. It might have been in deep through the door. It certainly wasn't protruding on the other side. No, there isn't. But Summer, he took the long way up because the flames were on the ramp. He had to go above the boxes, and that allowed them to find the kill on Bintet and now plant the bomb as well. So it becomes a four on three. Kit for Summer. Keep that in mind. Somebody's tagged at threes. Only got a decoy to work with, if we want to call it that. That's some fast shots. Jane Buster and Kicker Dog finding pistol headshots to make it now 1 nothing Avangar. That's an adjustment they have to make to get the off in position. Well, they went for the van boost at the very beginning of the round, seeing that a little bit more often these days. Fitch will run the gauntlet through the flames in middle, and Ben Ted actually ready to challenge the events, even though he got Molotov Dow. He drops the smoke, stays up there for now. Is he going to challenge again? It's not a good idea. Even as that, some are exposed. You can see them falling apart at this point. Communication a little bit off. That smoke dropped in the vents. Really didn't help Enter out at all. Couldn't back up his teammate, who assumed he was safe. And now trying to reclaim a frag. Holding on top of the boosted box there. And again, it's Avangar a five on four. Plenty of time remaining. Just waiting until the CDs drop their utility, which there isn't much left of. And they should make a coordinated five-man move in the next 10 seconds or so. Here's an interesting note as well. Considering I just mentioned the fact that Bintet's failed so far to shut down B. Fitch has every kill on the opposing side on entry for Avangar. He's got every entry kill so far. He's gone this time, though. Somebody in Bintet, the two players that didn't have kills, both of them push out and find them now. Somebody's was from Highway on the entrance from a main. The smoke down toward his position tries to elevate himself on Catwalk to take advantage of it. 11 seconds, he can actually swing in and deny the bomb. He's going to try to do exactly that, but Kickert... Shows G2 how you actually babysit a bomb planter. As Excurate pulls one back bomb, still ticks. It's a two on two. And Avangar can still win this one, despite that it very quickly could have fallen apart with a single kill. Here we go then, the two versus two. There is a kit available, but no utility. This sniper has to deliver as it gets closer and closer to the forklift. There is going to be an opportunity. Spots the elbow. This shot has to land quickly, which it does. Two versus one. It's at the buster, holding a quad. He's got the Molotov. He throws on the bomb now. He actually wins the round, but he's just going for pure facts here. And he gets the final headshot as well. Buster was completely confident in his teammate as well because he was already around the corner as if he knew that shot was going to be hit. If it was peaked, wow. he was going down, he would stay alive. But Bintet's come back through the vents. That's going to give Buster and Jame a way out of the round. It's the only one way now to go, and that's back over toward A as a result. 36 seconds, pretty much half to hit this site. Very difficult play there from Bintet to pull off. The fact he gets both those kills out of the vent as well. Lucky he got the rifle up first and Jame couldn't respond. His summer set up like a tarot a time depleting at this point the 20 second mark coming through it looks like Tyler might have done enough at this stage but the fl flashbang isn't a huge deal as he holds towards quad detected now but summer delivers an absolutely stunning headshot there it's Chrism who can still get a plan by the looks of things he'll get the bomb down he needs to be careful here yeah. yeah he does because he's allowed them closer if one was peeking great he gets away with it but all he's really done is they need to be well aware of the fact highway highway is open and I think they are the flash around summer will check it because that's Oh, that's exactly this. Somebody, he now gets a oh, great response to get to. Yeah. The fact that he does in that position, you're so vulnerable and wide open to highway Ooh. when you lose that position and boost it in the corner, especially when they know you're there. Kicker, good shot to at least get one back on the Deagle. Bomb goes down. This is still a reasonable round for Avangard. He survives the nade as well, just barely. Goes on 19 HP and wants to swing in around behind the red crate. Spots one, but too late. Bintet already spotted him up. Sometimes a little bit silly. Bintet, not only so good in those sort of positions, but he's done damage there. And you can see those low HP players having to run through the flames. The AWP though, doesn't matter if they're low, he has to hit some quick scopes here. Oh, oh, oh. There's one, he'll burn. And they still have the advantage. Somebody pushing the smoke, as we'll see Buster left in the two versus one. He burned one. Kickert alive as well though, so he actually got two on that. I thought he was getting a little desperate with his op shots, but seemingly he had the timing right in the third one. Hey, Buster's... He is going to fake and try and bait. They're both in. It means he's pretty much committed to fighting at this point in time. He's lost track of where the shots came from. Good decision by somebody to jump up on the box as well in that position. Now, a lot on his plate to deal with here. Buster needs to start and stay alive as long as possible. Takes a bullet to the face and surely goes down early. Great play from Ty Lu. Nice attack there with the Molotov on the site. Means he has to be exposed and he's limited in his options. That's where he can be positioned. And we'll see now. Kickert holding for his teammates. The smoke's still down. They have no kits. No flashbangs, just have to try and find all five headshots very, very quickly. Somebody a few tags. 
Fitch was the one he found, but didn't get the kill on. It's Kikard instead back in, but who else than Excure to up two with that fast? I think he must have been shooting at one target. They were pretty much lined up for the Glock to find two headshots that quickly, and Bintech oh, oh, oh. shows what happens when a USP gets in a terrorist's hands. Well, there we go. That's quite a scary prospect. There's the Molotov towards middle, actually lands towards Sandbags here, just to show a bit of presence. They're going for an A split. Like we said, there's no smoke or high I'm surprised at that. You can see how detrimental that is to them. They're pulling it back, but it looks like the round is done. They were going for the surprise attack there. Not trying to telegraph their play at all, but it looks like this one is absolutely out of reach of Summer. And they take another one HP. So we just want to plant here. If that's even possible. And the flame. He's making his way towards highway. A very fast ace play coming. James tried to turn it around. He wanted to sneak highway, but he knew that a main was a bigger threat. It cost him out in the end, but not so much for Fuss. Fuster. That's Fuster. Fish and Buster together. They look a little flustered now, though, because Bintet's got the kill back bomb to go down. And a two-on-two, two, they've already got a main covered off, and it's the wide plant, meaning that that is an extremely potent position. Bintet. You're not sure which way to look. He's not wrong to suggest they might be pushing forklift and trying to segregate the two of them, but it's all for naught, and it's immediate. It's traded back toward Xcrit as well. It's gone back around, Kicker. Finds one already on Xcrit. That's bomb as well inside, but inside of the site where they're going to go either way, so that could be recovered. Not if Fitch gets in position. He certainly has two kills on the way through, 13 to 11. Buster still holding as well. Tighter angle, we saw Excret use this in his own last time by, but he still is to the right side of the doorway, which means he can fall back. They're going to know he's there. Falling back, smoke already in place. He'll safely get to the corner. Interesting decision for the AWP. And he will safely rotate back in. He wanted to just stay tight to the wall so they couldn't wrap behind him. Missed Molotov again. That's twice. They're not even aware that that missed. So be cognizant of that when they walk in. As soon as they identify that, that's a problem within their strategy, which they still may not, given that there's a smoke down on top of the site. They're going to realize what that leads to, and it leads to Avangar picking up the round because they couldn't distill the players on top of the site. They are now one map away from qualifying into the legend stage.